crafters it's chris from crafts with chris and welcome to my channel if you are new here i do offer mostly stamping up tutorials with some product reviews and some other fun things on my channel i would love for you to hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you do get notifications of my most current videos so let's go ahead and get started on that beautiful card it's super simple and I usually always use die cuts when I'm making my cards. I was looking through my videos and most of my videos are using dies. So I wanted to do a card where it was just stamping. Um, so I am using the Life is Beautiful stamp set. This stamp set is so pretty, you guys. It's great all year round. And um, that tree is just gorgeous when it stamps out. So, so for our cardstock today, you will need a piece of soft sea foam. This is cut A2 size, so it's five and a half by eight and a half, fold at four and a quarter. You also will need two pieces of Whisper White. These are cut five and a quarter by four. For our ink today, you will need Early Espresso and Memento. We'll be using the stamp and write markers so today you will need pacific point seaside spray pool party crushed curry pumpkin pie and granny apple green so you're gonna need your black e with this block, we're going to take our stamp and write markers and we're going to use the paintbrush tip and I'm just going to color a strip down the block. So about about that much. You're going to want six of these strips in here. So next I'm going to use pool party. Same thing, paintbrush side and I'm going to color that in. Then your seaside spray with your paintbrush side. Then I'm gonna bring in the crushed curry. Pumpkin pie. And then I'm going to finish it off with the granny apple green. I'm going to bring in that piece of whisper white. And with this, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to move that out of the way. Um, I do have the mister in here. I'm going to pull it way back and just spritz it a couple of times. And then I'm going to bring back in that piece of Whisper White. Then you're just going to stamp that over the top. And I do have it centered. And you're just going to press down. And you want to just wait a little bit so that those colors soak in. Isn't that just so gorgeous? I love how that turns out. So you can do that with any colors you choose. So then I'm just going to take my Simple Chamois and just wash the block off. So I'm gonna take this tree out of here. Um, it is quite large. So I found the block that it fits on is the F block through Stampin' Up. Um, that's the largest block. Or you could use the Stamparatus to stamp this down. So you're gonna wanna take your Early Espresso, and I like on the bigger stamps um, to take my ink pad and, and put it on like this instead of trying to put the stamp on there. Um, you get better coverage this way. So then what you're going to do is you're going to stamp this tree right in the middle of this. Love how that tree looks. It's so pretty. So then again, I'm going to take my simple chamois and just uh, wipe off my stamp and my block. In the stamp set, there's that little birdhouse. We're going to use that birdhouse. 
and you're going to stamp it out again in early espresso and I'm just going to line it up so it's on this branch final bit of stamping we'll do is the hello in here you're going to stamp that out in tuxedo memento black and i'm just going to stamp it right along the bottom here we're just going to bring in our card base and we're going to fold that right in half i like to take my bone folder and give it a good crease and then we're going to take the stamp and seal and if you have not used this yet or if you're having trouble using this I know people have complained that it does stick and sometimes the, the glue isn't right there when you go to start it. So the trick I found, which works out great, is you pull it straight back and then when you get to the end, you just kind of flick it to the right. Or if you're left-handed, you flick it to the left. Your glue stays right there. So when you go to start it again, it's right there, flick it, and again, your, your adhesive is right there at the start. So you're not gonna have it getting stuck. It's not gonna stick up here. Um, that seems to work. I've been using it that way since I bought it and it seems to work out great. So this is gonna go right on the front of the card. And then you wanna go ahead and glue this on the inside just to finish up the look of the card. Isn't that so cute, you guys? I love that. And it was so simple to do. Um, you could choose any colors you wanted. You could do this with any of your stamp sets. So I really love the look of the background with that. I love how there's the white in there where it didn't quite stamp all the way. It just gives it more dimension and more texture. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe below and don't forget to ring that bell. I also offer a newsletter that I would love for you to sign up for. You will get 30 free card ideas just for signing up. Thanks for watching.